Today is a day that will be remembered for generations to come. According to early polls, the citizens of the United States of America are turning out in overwhelming numbers to vote for transformational Democratic presidential candidate Barack Obama. Yet in one of the ultimate tragic paradoxes of life, Obama's grandmother died yesterday morning in Hawaii. Some of you heard that my grandmother, uh, who helped raise me, passed away uh, early this morning. And uh, look, she, she, she has gone home. Whichever candidate one supports, there is no denying that the 2008 presidential elections is a groundbreaking event, with analysts predicting an unprecedented turnout of over 130 million American voters. Yet most analysts are already firmly convinced that Barack Obama is heading for an imminent victory. Accordingly, the Democratic Party is already preparing a massive victory ceremony in Obama's hometown of Chicago. A huge stage is being constructed in Chicago's Grant Park, where Obama hopes to declare victory before cheering crowds of millions of people. Yet at the same time that Barack Obama is preparing for victory, he is also preparing for potential threats against his life. For the first time ever, a presidential candidate may declare victory behind walls of bulletproof protective glass amid heightened concerns for his safety. And as the hour of truth approaches, one can only wonder what an Obama presidency will mean for America, Israel, the Middle East, and the rest of the world.